Action! Hi, SoCo family again, and thank you for that action. Uh, <laughs> okay, so even though it's very light natured, I want to speak again, I'm so sorry, about Christian persecution. Um, when one part of the church suffers, as you know, the Bible says that we all suffer. Um, and I certainly suffer when I read these stories and this is on my heart to speak to you about. And I would say I'm not talking about giving money necessarily. I'm talking about prayer. Please, please pray specifically for Nigeria and Nigerian Christians, 1,200 of whom and counting have been slaughtered this year alone. So let that sink in. It's like only the, uh, what is it, the eighth month, the very beginning, 1,200 people killed for no crime other than confessing Jesus Christ as their Lord and Saviour, as we all do, unless there are any uh, Muslims or Hindus watching or atheists. So anyway, um, on the 23rd of last month, uh, it was reported that on July 20th in Kaduna, Nigeria, I'm so sorry for my pronunciation, it's not the important part, Fulani militants murdered 11 Christians. That's 11 of our brothers and sisters were murdered indiscriminately for confessing Christ our Lord, um, who we know uh, to be the truth. That's not to say that their, their deaths aren't within God's plan for them, but the outrage and the hurt that I feel, I'm sure you share, and I'm gonna continue with the details, which aren't that gruesome. Um, so they, uh, Fulani militants attacked a village called Goragan and set fire to dozens of houses at around 7 p.m. Uh, the, uh, a reverend tells us that um, seven other Christians were injured during the attack and they're not generally paper cuts, they're normally machete wounds um, and they are receiving treatment at a general hospital in Zonkwa. Many other people are missing, which means they've been kidnapped, abducted, they're going to be held for ransom, potentially dismembered, definitely murdered. Very few Nigerians who are abducted and are given the opportunity to have um, hostage videos, one of which I will recommend in the, in the description to this video, where the guy is still praising Jesus and asking forgiveness for his captors. He too was murdered anyway. Um, so the um, recent attack has caused over 500 internally dis placed people within Nigeria and they are Christian and they are seeking ref uh, refuge sorry Ezekiel James who is a refugee camp staffer has told a news outlet that these internally displaced Christians are in dire need of food items drugs facilities um, in which to treat them and uh, the trauma that they are suffering so again I'm going to put some links to these uh, articles in the description if you are able if you're not prayer is obviously our first form of attack and defense but if you are financially uh, blessed enough to be able to donate even a pound um, this is where it needs to go to be fair um, Nigeria is ranked as you all know from my previous speeches number 12 on the open doors 2020 world watch list of countries where Christians are most likely to be murdered murdered in cold blood dismembered raped set on fire uh, I can't tell you, like literally um, have dismembered and then tormented whilst they're on the ground and still alive, uh, limbless. Uh, raped while they're in states of disrepair. You may remember Vera, a 22 year old uh, girl, a microbiology student who I told you about last month, who was raped and beaten, left in a pool of blood inside a church. This is outrageous. She was able to regain consciousness and tell the authorities that she had been beaten in the head with a fire extinguisher then raped and she sadly passed away like three or four days later. Her family are now uh, childless and her blossoming potential career has been cut short and all in the name of ISWAP or Boko Haram or uh, Fulani militants. So it doesn't, again, I don't care who's persecuting my uh, brothers and sisters, I just don't care. I don't care whether it's tribal, whether it's uh, godlessness, whether it's Islam, whether it's Hinduism, Sikhism, I just don't care. Our brothers and sisters are suffering to pray for them. It takes seconds. God already knows what they need, but God knows uh, your heart also. And by showing this compassion, um, you know, when, when we find ourselves in need, uh, please God, our brothers and sisters, pray for us. On a separate note, where you can find out more about this kind of stuff is a place called Discord. So that's uh, Delta, India, Sierra, Charlie, Oscar, Romeo, Delta, Discord, if you haven't heard of it. It's an app that you download to your phone uh, or it's a website that you have on your computer also. Um, we have a server there. It's called SoCo uh, Film Server. It's exclusively SoCo. It's authentically SoCo. People such as uh, Bob, who's over there, myself, 
uh, Ben, who's around somewhere, potentially over there. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. Um, uh, Jakub, you may remember, is there. Um, JC will pop in from time to time, although he's a bit of a Luddite. Um, we're all there, basically, and you can come along and chat to us, chat to each other. Uh, there's apologetics materials, polemics materials, there's live chat. So, for a measly, I'm talking about a pittance, not even enough for a coffee in Starbucks who probably don't pay their taxes, you can join uh, YouTube, SoCo YouTube. You get a special, like, little stickery things. Everybody loves you, lots of clapping, the crowds go wild. I, and other stuff, obviously. Exclusive access to a Discord server that I'm going to get to in a minute. For $3.99 a month, you get a little bit extra fabulousness. Obviously, salvation is free, free gift. We can't offer you it, but Jesus can. For 17 quid a month, I don't know, all bells and whistles, it all goes off. I mean, there's an encore. JC pops around to your house for a cup of tea. <laughs> it all goes on. But, on but, you, but for free, you get access to Discord SoCo server and you get a limited section where you can come and chat to us and general chit chat to each other. You can learn polemics, apologetics. You can uh, debate stuff that you don't necessarily want to debate like with Muslims. You can kind of practice your craft as it were. You can become strong in the Lord um, and feed on the word of Jesus, the, uh, the milk and the meat as it were. For the, within the $2.99 a month on YouTube, you can have access to, I think SoCo Pro, which is on the Discord server. You get um, pre-recorded lectures by myself, by Bob, by maybe Ben, uh, you know, Paperboy, whomever is popping in. Then for the $3.99, I think it's SoCo Greats. Um, you get live, uh, huh, sorry, live lectures and uh, video chats and you can ask us questions which will be upvoted and the questions that get the most votes will we'll make a small video potentially at Speaker's Corner to answer your excellent questions. If anyone has any questions for maybe Hashim or Ali Dahawa, then I will uh, obviously go and heckle them for you or somebody will. Um, you're all welcome to come down. If you give us 17 quid a month, like in all seriousness, JC works very hard. He's always available for the SoCo team. He's loving, he's always this happy. I've checked his medicine cabinet. I don't know, <laughs> something's going on. But he's literally always making this noise. And like I've said before, come to Jesus, we have a right laugh. But also come to SoCo Films on YouTube, subscribe to them, like, comment, share. Then click join if you're financially able. You can you can cancel it at any time. So it could just be one coffee a month that you don't drink in Starbucks. I mean, they're not paying taxes anyway, allegedly. <laughs> so come to Jesus first. Repent. Uh, you know, ask forgiveness. Come to Jesus. Get happy again. Um, stick with us on SoCo. Come see me at K SoCo Films Yay. on Parler. P A R L E R. Come and find me, it's K-Soko Films. I'm gonna put every single thing in the link. I won't because I'm a bit rubbish at this, but I'll watch it back and I'll see what I've promised. And uh, yeah, bar my name and address, like it's all in there. Um, but please do consider subscribing and consider please praying specifically for us at the park. Um, it looks very friendly, but as you know, it's not always this way. Pray for the Holy Spirit to pour, pour itself out onto this park and to help us who are ministering and preaching Christ risen, please do. Um, we're praying for you, obviously. We're praying for all the Muslims here, for all the atheists here, for all the agnostics. Secondly, more importantly, I would say, please pray for Nigerian Christians, for girls and women in Pakistan who happen to be Christian. Uh, they're being abducted at a rate of a thousand a year with their Hindu counterparts, uh, forced into the Shahada and Islamic marriages, according to a 2014 report, which I can also provide. So take a look at persecution.org, for example, or Christian Concern. Pray for them specifically, because even though God, in his wisdom, knows their suffering, uh, if you focus your heart onto it, he can reveal to you more ways in which you can help. Could just be like, you know, I don't know what it could be, but God will let you know. And I'm going to say I love you lots, and God bless, and I'll speak to you next time. Bye-bye.